The noise of the chopper echoed in this Bel Air Canyon for almost an hour, but it was the sound earlier that had neighbors on edge. We both heard him yelling help. Michael Chaikin and his wife lived just south of Mulholland in Bel Air, but last week they heard someone in the canyon below. We heard him well enough to determined he was in need of help, so I called 911. Police responded but couldn't find him, so they called in the Los Angeles Fire Department for a highly trained search and rescue paramedic. Then they sent uh, the helicopter in, dropped someone down in there. That someone was John Terusa. People love to go out there and explore the wilderness, and sometimes uh, they aren't quite prepared for what Mother Nature brings them. But this call was different because no one could see the man. Oftentimes we can fly over and see through that canopy. In this particular case, we couldn't see through it. So they hoisted him down into the hillside and the chopper flew away as Terusa searched on foot, calling out. He said, I'm here, please help me. But what he found in the brush surprised even this seasoned responder. He had no encampment, no water, no food. He had multiple abrasions or scrapes. I mean, everywhere from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet. The man was completely dehydrated and unable to move at all. He was in grave, grave condition. He had been in that ravine for more than a week. I think if he had stayed there maybe a, a day, maybe two, he wouldn't have lasted much longer. I mean, he would have died where he was. The aeromedics with the Los Angeles Fire Department make hundreds of rescues each and every year, not only from wilderness areas, but water rescues and, of course, evacuations from fires. He had the will to live. He knew that he was in dire straits, and he called for help, and that was great. And although it's not clear what brought this man to the canyon, whether he was hiking or homeless, he was helped. And although Teruza doesn't usually search on his own, he says the real heroes are the ones who simply stopped to listen. Joy Benedict, KCAL 9 News.